That's right, guys. We're coming up into that time of the year where we need to get out there and explore Arizona. Springtime, heading into summer. Let's do this. First up on the list is a friendly reminder. Many of you already know that this is a place you can go. It's the Grand Canyon. But did you know there's also the North Rim and the South Rim? This is a view looking out from the South Rim towards the North Rim. Now, the reason I mentioned both areas is because you're going to get two totally different experiences in each area. The South Rim has Williams. It also has more infrastructure for the National Park. But the North Rim is a little bit higher elevation up there in the Kaibab National Forest. And it's going to have more wildlife. It's definitely better stargazing as well because it's one of the best places in all of the country. You'll get stars up there in the Kaibab on the North Rim. They also have a great lodge that you can stay at. And as you can see, just walking around here, it's a very peaceful and tranquil place to just relax. Another place you can do a really fun weekend getaway is going to be up in Jerome. The whole Verde Valley, really, you've got Cornville just below Jerome. You've also got the drive that goes from Jerome all the way to Prescott that you can drive up around those mountains there. The name of that scenic route is called the 89A. So you can look that up if you want to take that exact route. But yeah, like I said, going around the area of Jerome, they're going to have old copper mines, old silver mines, and then down below you're going to have the river, you're going to have Tuzagut. So really a cool area to explore around this Verde Valley, in particular Jerome. You could camp down there on the Verde, do some uh, water sports, swimming in the Verde River, really fun. And then of course just walking around old Jerome, this is an old ghost town and they don't call it a ghost town because it's vacant, they call it a ghost town because people say there's ghosts that still live here in some of these old hotels and some of these old buildings so that's what kind of makes it interesting and another weekend getaway that we're going to highlight is around the salt river so the salt river is a totally different river system than the verde river and the reason i like the salt river is because you can do activities like inner tubing down the salt once it gets past the saguaro lake but if you go up past saguaro lake you have even more lakes. You have Apache Lake, you have Canyon Lake, you also have Lake Roosevelt, which is just up the way. And they did say that they're going to be opening up Apache Trail, which makes it even easier. But as of right now, you actually have to wrap around through Globe to get to the northern part of the Salt River. So it's kind of splitting up the Salt River experience. And now we're gonna move on to the next place. This is going to be around the Colorado River system. We're talking about Parker, which is going to have those floating pontoon bars. If you go a little bit further north, you're going to have Buckskin State Park. And you're going to have a lot of different options along the river here for your RV, for your mobile home, or just to do some camping. It is really hot in the summertime, 120 degrees. So you're probably going to want to take that into consideration if you're planning a summer getaway here. They do have some hotels in the area, but it's not what you're expecting. So maybe consider an Airbnb or a Verbo, uh, but most people just bring a mobile home and do it that way. Uh, you can rent those by just calling in and making the reservation. Uh, but hanging out down here, you can see it's a really cool vibe right here on the river. This is just past Lake Havasu City. As you can see, there's lots of watercraft on the water here. So maybe finding out a way to get your paws on a jet ski or two or three as well as a boat or even a speedboat. Right across the river there is California. And now we're actually headed over towards the Red Rocks. This is the Sedona area. Now Sedona area is gonna be a place you're gonna do lots of hiking and relaxing. It's a place to unwind. It's a place to get away from all the hustle and bustle of Phoenix or Tucson. Even Flagstaff's getting a little bit busier, even uh, Prescott.
Sedona also gets busy, but you can still find a lot of serenity in nature on the outskirts. You can go cruise around the area where uh, Oak Creek Canyon is, where the Oak Creek is. They also have West Fork, so you can go hiking up in there. It is getting more popular with the years that go by. People are getting out there and doing it. Hopefully, if you're going for relaxing time, you will be able to find that. And I do believe Sedona still has enough tranquility for you to be able to find that kind of relaxation for you, the wife, kids, the whole family, or just yourself. And this is for everyone except for people who live in Tucson, but going down to the old Pueblo is always a good time. They have Saguaro National Park, they have the Sonoran Desert Museum. Golfing in Tucson is always recommended if you can get out there. They also have these old towns. They have old Tucson, they just rebuilt it. So you can get out there and do some of that stuff, exploring the old Pueblo area. And this old dust town here with the old saloon, it's basically a blast from the past taking you back in time to the wild west only 150 years ago it was just like this but it's fun to see and it's great for the kids actually and then they have horseback riding hiking and exercising around sabino canyon also they have mount lemon going up to the top right there on top they have bears you might see one coming into your campsite if you're up there camping. Uh, you get great views of Tucson, but they also have some caves nearby. Near Vale, they have the Karchner Caverns also. And Colossal Cave is the one in Vale. But yeah, going down to the old Pueblo, checking out San Javier, and checking out some of the towns even further south of Tucson, about an hour by Green Valley, Tubac, all that. Really a good time down in Tucson if you know where to go. You just got to know where to go and enjoy yourself. Another area you can go around is going to be Prescott. Prescott's in its own little microclimate tucked away near the Bradshaw Mountains towards the north. And here you're going to have different lakes, lots of different lakes actually. You have Lynx Lakes, you have Watson Lake. I could go on and on about the lakes. They also have some pretty thick forests, especially as you go towards that Bradshaw Mountains area. You're going to have Potato Patch, just exploring around there and maybe even getting a cabin. And renting one of those cabins right there in the woods and just immersing yourself right there in that forest it's really a nice getaway especially if you're in phoenix and it's hot going up there it's going to cool down about 15 to 20 maybe even 30 degrees especially at night it gets kind of brisk out there in the uh, prescott area and then you have uh downtown prescott whiskey row a fun place to go out and get some nightlife if you're looking for that kind of action it's not going to quite be like you're going to get in D old town scottsdale mill avenue but still a good time and you can pick any one of these saloons if you wanted to go check them out but another thing to consider is that it's still going to be cold up there this time of year here in march april still might even get some snow flurries it is over a mile high up here so do keep that in mind if you're trying to go in springtime and about an hour and a half away from Prescott and about an hour away from Sedona is Flagstaff. This is our highest elevation big city, if you could call it that. It's got a population around 88,000 to 100,000 people, depending on what you're counting. But it is going to be a high altitude destination. If you go all the way up to San Francisco Peak, also known as Mount Humphreys, that's about a 12,000 foot mountain. It's really high up there. They do have snowboarding this time of year but also in the summertime you can walk around the downtown area and just explore what's going on over here or you could actually head over to sunset crater national park a nice place to do some camping they also going to have some native american uh, ruins there that you can explore really some cool ones actually made of rock I consider it to be Arizona's Machu Picchu actually
Now we did just show you the pontoon bars on the area of Parker, but this one here is Lake Havasu City. It's a little bit more built up. People like to do a lot of that jet ski uh, racing, the, the jet boats. They call them the Firebirds, I think sometimes, but they do a lot of that jet boat racing out here in Lake Havasu. But just hanging out on the water, even if you wanna just go for a cruise, it's got a lot of infrastructure for partying. Uh, you'll see people from California and Arizona both here because it's popular with both. But Lake Havasu City, really a fun place. It's kinda of got a bit of a Florida vibe to it, if I'm to be honest. Now, if you go here on Memorial Day weekend or Labor Day weekend, maybe even the 4th of July, it's going to be absolutely packed with people. So try to find a shoulder weekend if you don't like big crowds. And now we're actually going to head back towards Williams and show you guys around over here. Williams was an important stop along the old Route 66 headed out towards the West Coast, obviously from Chicago or even the East Coast. But nowadays it's still got that old Route 66 kind of vibe. This is also where you can get the Grand Canyon Railway. They have some great camping around this area. They have the Bill Williams Mountain out here, the peak. And then you have some camping towards the north in between Grand Canyon and Williams actually. So definitely do some exploring around here. And we're going to talk about the Cottonwood area a little bit more in detail. This is a part of the Verde Valley. It's about an hour away from Jerome. But around here, you're going to have places like Cornville. You're also going to have Camp Verde and some other hikes around here. There, It's really close to Montezuma's Castle, Rim Rocks nearby. So it's really an interesting place. But just walking around the old city here, really relaxing. Nice place to do some wine tasting go out at night for a restaurant, hang out. Again, another place you can go to relax. They're gonna have camping nearby. You can either camp in a tent or you can get an actual RV, mobile home, motor home. This is more popular to do that right along the Verde River. And another place to explore is going to be around Payson. Now Payson is going to have the Mogollon Rim just up above. They also have the Tonto Natural Bridge, an area where you can hike around and really explore. They have the wagon wheel hike. Lots of hiking out here in the Payson area. But Payson again is around 5,000 feet elevation. And from here you can base camp up into the Mogollon Rim, do whatever you want. But spending a day up in the Mogollon Rim is really nice. Even if you camp up on the rim, that's even better. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of elk and wildlife. Some bears are gonna be seen from time to time. And this is a look at the waterfall at the wagon wheel. Another great area to explore is going to be around the White Mountains. This here is where Sunrise Park Resort is. This is another ski lodge. Arizona has three big ones. They have the one in Snowbow and Flagstaff, Sunrise here in White Mountains, and then the one on Mount Lemmon. But overall, being that we're going into the summertime, you're going to want to do some hiking. Check out towns like Greer, stay in show low, maybe if that's something that you want to base camp out of. or. Pine Top Lakeside is a great place to get an Airbnb. That's really a great idea. But over here in the White Mountains, generally speaking, a re relaxing time to explore nature. There are a lot of Native American reservations, so that limits you as far as what kind of land exploration you can do. 
And then guys, that's going to conclude this list of best weekend getaways. Hopefully this helps you guys get some ideas of how to have fun this summer and spring. And watch some more of our other videos. You can actually watch Best Small Towns 2023 and also Top Things to Do in Arizona. We'll see you on the next one.